Hi family. Good morning. How are you doing? So the Lord has shared something so powerful with me that I cannot keep it to myself. I got to share it with you. This thing here, my God, this revelation literally blew my mind. And I had to ask myself, how come I never saw this before? And perhaps you're going to ask the same question. And let me say this to you. It's the Lord who is doing this. I didn't ask him to tell me these things. I didn't ask him to deposit these things. I'm just minding my own business and he's the one interrupting. Yesterday I came on here and I spoke. And I thought that was it. I went back to doing my chores. And while I was doing my chores, the spirit of the Lord just kept on revealing some things. It's like the river is just flowing. And, and let me just share this. And by the way, you're welcome to share this broadcast. You're welcome to do that if you are so led. Watch this. Yesterday, I came on here and I talked about how, you know, we should consider changing the name of Jamaica. Why? Because whatever something is named is what gives it its identity. Jamaica means land of wood and water. Wood means flesh. Water means spirit. The two cannot coexist in the same space without one of them dominating the other. As we would have seen in scripture, there is always a struggle between flesh and spirit. We're called Jamaica, land of wood and water land of flesh versus spirit there is a war a constant war going on one has to dominate now the spirit of the lord after i came off that broadcast showed me who is dominating not because of what i think not because of what you think it's not a think kind of thing. It's not a, 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 an imagination kind of thing. It's not an opinion kind of thing. But here's what the Lord said. My God. I remembered that just this week. On two separate occasions. Something so powerful came out in the conversation. At the time, of course, it was just a simple reality. But yesterday, the Lord made sense of it to me spiritually. And I want you to know that we're in a time when we need to start interpreting things spiritually. Because God is, he is already starting to use some simple things to bring out some spiritual reality. And only people who are walking in the spirit will pick these things up. I talked to my sister earlier this week. And at the time when I talked with her, she said to me, she said, there is no water here. The NWC, the National Water Commission, has locked off the water. It's time for that again. Of course, you know, in Jamaica, at a certain time, the water gets locked off at a certain time of the year. Then, when I talked with my mom on a separate occasion, just this week, see, it's the Holy Ghost who brought this back to my memory because he was showing me something. She said to me, they don't have no water down there. They have no water in the country. My mother is a farmer. She's in farming, okay? The farmers have no water. Because I remember I was asking her, what are you working on now? But immediately she said, we don't have any water. So there is a water shortage. Let's think about this. How can an island that is totally surrounded by water, okay, be experiencing so many frequent instances of water shortage? We're totally surrounded by water. Yet we have a lot of water lack, water shortage issue across the island. You know what the spirit of the Lord says? He says, I've been speaking, but they're not listening. And I've been showing signs in the heavens, but they're not seeing. Can't you see that even the water crisis that we have 
is a language. God is speaking to us through it. The Lord is showing us who is really dominating. There is a water shortage in an island that is totally surrounded by water. God wants us to come out of the flesh and go into the spirit. He's showing us that the flesh is winning. The flesh is dominating the spirit. That's why we continue to have the water shortage. Because the spiritual activities and spiritual manifestations are not as dominant as the fleshly manifestations. My God. My God. My God. The Lord says this water lock off issue. This water shortage issue that we continue to suffer is not a physical thing. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual thing, but he has had to resort to, to literally speaking to us through this medium. And yet we have not realized it. Now, here's what the spirit of God says. I know many of us, we love to talk about, you know, if my people, but let us read the verse that comes before that, because he says something really important in the previous verse. Or the preceding verse. Let's go. It says, If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locust to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, clearly God has shut up heaven. Clearly. Adonai, the spirit of the living God has shut up his heaven and there is no rain on the island. You know what God is saying? If my people, watch this because this is also powerful. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will I forgive and I will heal their land. I'm going to shock you. I'm going to shock you with something just now. If my people, he says, will humble and turn. Therefore, you know who is causing this? Do you know why there is a water crisis? Do you know why he has shut up the heaven? Do you know? It's not even so much what the worldly people are doing. But he says, my people. So clearly the flesh has crept into the space of, the home of, the temple of his people. It's, it's so dominating the island that it's winning over even those who are supposed to be his people. So here's what he's saying. The solution to the water crisis is this, is if my people will turn, he's not expecting the, the coming to him and the crying and the weeping and the wailing to come from people who, who, who go to the bar and people who do all them thing. He says, it's my people who I'm expecting to turn and come to me through prayer or in prayer and supplication. He says, if they turn, then will I hear. Hallelujah. So let us not just think of the, the, the shootings and the murderings. Because I know Christians don't necessarily do those things, right? But what about the other things that we Christians do? Do we realize that the flesh oftentimes is prevailing in our midst? The lies, the unforgiveness that we have, the bitterness we have toward our neighbors, the bitterness we have toward our leaders, the bitterness we have toward each other. So it's not just the things, the debauchery that is happening, but we too have contributed toward a lot of things. And God is saying we have to turn. Clearly he has shut up the heavens. That's why there is no water. There's no water. No water. There is a water shortage. What did we say water means? The spirit. 
there is a shortage of the spiritual manifestation of the living God. The wood is more abundant in Jamaica than the water. There's more wood than water right now. Otherwise, there would not have been a water lock off and farmers would not be protesting and crying. You know why? Because the flesh is more dominant than the spirit. As much as there is a church on every street and at every corner, the flesh is more dominant than the spirit because even in the house of God in Bethel are fleshly things occurring and we don't realize it. And God says, you want this water issue to change? Come to me, my people. You first change. When you change, then everybody else will change. You first change. You first repent. And I will hear and I will heal, saith the Lord. God bless you. God bless you.